Hello everyone, this is the Nam's Noodle Podcast. Back to you again, talking once more about mental illness, and this time we're going to be tackling depression. Now, in my previous one uh, episode, I was talking about you know how I'm coping with my anxiety and my depression, how I'm managing it in my day-to-day life, and uh, now and not letting it control me. Um, you know, I still have. You know, my days where I, you know, it seems like I take, uh, I may take one step forward, but I end up taking two steps backwards. Um, And I was just coming across some articles uh, regarding depression. And in that video, I also stated about how social, at the end of the video, I stated about social media is probably a uh, cause for depression or the use of social media is cause for depression. And I looked into that a little bit more. So I could discuss and talk about the cause and effects about what social media uh, can do, and you know the, you know the uh, chronic illness, the chronic, you know instability unst- it can uh, cause for someone. Um, I was I looked up it was TechTimes.com and the article was, was titled uh, "New Study Links Heavy Use of Social Media to Depression." This was uh, published back in. Uh, March of th- this year, so it's it's relatively new article still. I like to, if I'm researching something, you, you usually want to uh, keep it within like you know a five to ten year frame and uh, to keep it up to date with uh, you know because things are always changing and study new studies are always being done. But uh, it, it was interesting. Uh, you now the researchers uh, they sampled more than uh, more than 1,787 United States young adults between the ages of 19 and 32. Um, you know, a lot of kids, and uh, I don't want to say kids because at 19, you're, you know, you're basically, yeah, a young adult. Uh, people between those ages are really using social media. I mean, so are young teenagers as well. But, I mean, you see a lot of people using uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. You people see using people use selfies. So, you know the use of social media is more or less running amok. I mean, it's being used. And like I said, uh, it seems that there's more cons than pros to social, you know, social media. I mean, at least I, I said one of the pros is I'm able to keep in contact with some of my family members, even though they're many hundreds of thousands of miles away. And, you know, that's, um, you know, that's, uh, just an unfortunate fact of life. It's just how it is. But, you know, like I said, there is pros to it. But, um, you know, the, the depression, though, that supposedly that it could cause, uh, it said, now the study found participants spent 61 minutes a day on social media and visited various platforms 30 times per week. So, like, you know, Facebook, uh, t- uh, what was the other one? Uh, there was Reddit, uh, Instagram. Uh, I, you could probably put Snapchat in there. Um, what are, there's, uh, Reddit, I, unless I said that already, cause I'm trying, I'm trying to gather all my uh, thoughts here. Um, I'm sure blogger might be one. It's in the article there, but you know, fa- the, the, the main ones like Facebook, Instagram, uh, and I, and I would guess like Snapchat were, you know, amongst the ones that were listed, you know, that, you know, people use as uh to go on a social platform twitter obviously uh you know um now it said not less than 20 an interesting number came up so not less than 25 percent of the participants in this study showed high symptoms of depression so you know i did the math that's like a little over 446 people out of that 1787 uh person sample that's a lot that's quite a bit and I was also did some other research, you know, is is the United States uh, one of the most depressed countries in the world? And, you know, you wouldn't think that because, you know, generally speaking, United, the United States, the Western civilization is probably one of the more wealthiest countries in the world. And, you know, there's, you don't think there's as much poverty there uh, as there is in, like, third world countries. But an interesting study, uh, um, no. What? Sorry that I mumbled my word, but here it is. It was from uh, a study based on BM, a BMC study by the Biomedical Control. Those who were w- wealthier and had a higher 
rate of depression than those who came from less affluent countries. And um, U.S. is second at 19.2% next to Fran France with the most depressed people. Some lists I came across with having U.S. at the top, but nonetheless, uh, that speaks volumes in itself. It seems like no, um, just because you have more, you, you, you're more technologically advanced doesn't necessarily mean, you know, uh, it equates to more happiness or, uh, you know, a, a better mood. Uh, and people rely so much on social media, like I said. Uh, you know, we're constantly, you know, putting ourselves out there to be heard. Um, and, you know, it's a good thing, you know, because right now, I mean, I'm using social media as an outlet to allow my voice be heard, give my two cents on, you know, depression and, and mental health. And that's something I like to talk about because I do suffer it for myself. But I think people sometimes rely on it too much as a way of life and that they end up living more of their life through through social media than the, than the outside world and what that and what that has to offer uh, you know we're, we're so disconnected with the real world and we lose track of you know the more important things like it kind of goes back to you know like when our parents were growing up you know they didn't have this twitter this facebook this instagram this snapchat all these types of social media platforms like i said from dusk till dawn, they were outside playing, and when the street lights came on, that's when they came home. And you know, uh, I wouldn't be also surprised if I checked on later if you know depression has gotten worse over uh, these time periods from you know the 70s and 80s all the way up to this uh, current you know year of 2016, and you know, uh, but it's just it's just fascinating. Uh, what social media can do and how it's impact. Cause sometimes I feel even myself when I use social media, you know, I become depressed. Uh, it's just being disengaged from others using it so much. I think, like I said, uh, and being apart from the outside world that you lose interest in doing regular activities such as, you know, just going out for a walk or getting together with your friends or, you know, doing some sort of physical activity that's, you know, fun, that's supposed to be fun, recreational between you and your uh, peers. And that's what, you know, I think social media does. Um, going back to the techtimes.com article, it said depression, uh, yeah, depression could become the top cause of disability in high, com high income nations by 2030. Which, again, going back to my one point of, you know, you wouldn't think, you know, because the United States being, you know, uh, probably one of the higher incomes and you know you got these third world countries who are living in poverty you would think you know well if they have being in the united states you have it so well but ultimately it's it's a complete 180 with what these studies have been able to find and show up and i just think it's interesting it's like the less you have sometimes it's like those people with, who are less fortunate they make the best with what they have um and then you know sometimes just having more or being technologically advanced is not what might what is all cracked up to be. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll leave a link though to those articles in the description of this particular video below. You can check them out. Feel free to let me know what you think of this. Um, you know, these are just interesting studies. I, you know, I believe, and I, it just seems like there is like little cause and correlation of you know being wealthier, having these uh, advantages with so-called quote advantages with technology but how they can actually affect us in, in the negative sense more so positively uh, so again i'll leave a link to those articles you can check them out also follow me uh on twitter i also have a facebook page i'll leave a link to those two uh, uh social media uh, sites of mine also check out linesofliberty.com they do podcasts of what's going on through um you know in the news I'll leave a link to their Twitter and their Facebook page. You can check them out as well. And signing off. And as always, I'm Nam, and always use your noodle.